Good evening and welcome back to the Rory Talks Football Channel, your daily Arsenal news updates, debates and my opinions. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe below and drop a like on the video as well. I hope you're all doing well. Loads of you here already. Absolutely sensational for a Tuesday evening. Um, yeah, Tuesday evening. Pekka, Devin, Joe Henry, Electric Gaming, Emilio, VV Vlad, Verdi, Jelly Belly, Hannah, Ethan Udall, Drax, Magnus, Ross Lorman, Saka number seven, Oslo Guna, a new Jumana. It is good to see you all in the chat. I hope you're all doing well. We're, uh, well, I guess technically, well, today was kind of the first day of the proper week, I guess, because we had a bank holiday yesterday. Um, but I hope you're all doing well. Luton is on the horizon, Luton Town. And I want to make it crystal clear I am not taking this game for granted. So, Whatever I say throughout this stream, I want it to be clear that I'm not taking the game for uh, for granted. I'm absolutely not. I'm not disrespecting Luton. I'm not suggesting that Luton are, are not going to be a challenge. We know what happened when we went away to Luton. Um, it was a tough game. That said, this is probably our final opportunity really to rest key players. It is, on paper, the final easy game. And again, I'm not saying it's going to be an easy game, but if we are going to have an easy game between now and the end of the season, this is one of the ones that's most likely to be it. So um, we'll talk about, you know, what the lineup should be, who should be rested um, and the rest of it. We'll go through what Arteta said in his press conference today. Got an update on Jerry and Timber finally that we've been waiting for. Um, is it true that Luton have 10 players out? I'm not sure. I'm not actually, I, I normally check the, um, uh, look, uh, again, uh, look, maybe I do disrespect Luton. Normally, I do actually check um, who's going to be fit and who's not going to be fit for the opposition. But I, to be quite honest, I've not actually checked that today. Um, so I'm not too sure. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know who they've got out, to be honest. Uh, did you get a ticket for the Bayern, uh, in the Bayern ballot? I still don't know, but I assume not. I've literally, to be honest, I'm quite disappointed with Arsenal today. Oh, no way. Oh no, I got I just got an email. I literally I got an email. I got an email seven minutes ago. And as usual, unfortunately, on this occasion, your application was unsuccessful. We encourage you to apply for tickets for future matches, with each ballot presenting a chance to secure tickets. Fuck off. Uh so no, I don't have a ticket, and God knows how I'm gonna get one. Uh but congratulations, Ethan. Absolutely buzzing for you. Uh Luton have all the key players out, do they? Who's out for Luton? Who's out? Is, Ro is Ross Barkley out? Um, is Ross Barkley out? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Luton face a massive test against title-chasing Arsenal tomorrow night, made even harder by a 13-man injury list. So the players that they've got injured... Oh, my God. The players they've got injured, Amari Bell, Gabby Osho, Reese Burke, Tom Lockyer, Mads Anderson, Dan Potts, Alfie Doughty, Ryan Giles, Marvellous Nakamba, Sambi Lukonga's not allowed to play, uh, Ogbene, Chong, Brown, and Adebayo. Are they all injured? That's unbelievable. I mean, if they're all injured, then we're, we're, yeah. I mean, look, I know I said it wasn't going to be an easy game. <laughs> Come on. Let, let's be real. Ogbene's been one of their most exciting players. Chong's been really important for them. Alfie doughty has been huge for them on the left-hand side. Adebayo has been big for them. At the back, Gabe Osho, Amari Bell normally starts for them. In theory, they've only got one fit centre-back in Mengi. Um, yeah. Like, it's basically Ross Barkley against the world. And Carlton Morris. Ross Barkley and Carlton Morris. Um, so, look, in theory, you know, we should be winning this game quite easily. Um, Adebayo didn't play against Tottenham. Fair, fair. I didn't realise that. Uh, I've got four games in the ballot all season. Liverpool, Porto, Aston Villa and Bayern. I should get a lottery ticket at this rate. Yeah, that's mad. I've, I got I got Porto, to be fair. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's big. For Luton to be missing that many players, you know, that is significant for them. That is significant for them. Uh, Kaminsky is class. Yeah, Kaminsky is a good goalkeeper, to be fair. Would you take Isaac over Gjokeresh? In my opinion, he's a better fit for us. No, I am the captain of the Gjokeresh steam drain, and I will not be departing. 
Well, the train has departed and I won't be getting off it. I will not be getting off it. Did you get a ticket for Luton? No, I'm still trying to get a ticket for Luton. I've been on the exchange all day. It's been winding me up, to be honest. So, yeah, I need to try and get a Luton ticket tonight. And then somehow I've got to try and get a freaking... Somehow I've got to try and get a Bayern ticket. But I've got no idea how I'm going to do that. Absolutely no idea. Um, thoughts on Timber still not being in full first team training? Yeah, it's slightly worrying. But there is an update from uh, Mikel Arteta on Julian Timber today. Um, so, look, we'll get into that. In fact, we'll, we will get into that. We'll get into the... Um, we'll get into... This, the Arteta's press conference today. So he was asked about Bakayo Saka, how he is fitness wise. He said, yeah, he's fine. Obviously, we haven't trained. We've recovered and have a short li uh, short live session today uh, to prepare for the game. And we'll see whether he's in the best condition to start or not. I can confirm he was in training today. Um, so, you know, I, I think he is fatigued, but I don't know. He was in training. Um which is good. There's no significant injury, at least. Uh, on whether there's an opportunity to give him time to recover, he said, we're just thinking about Luton and preparing for the game in the best possible way and earn the right to beat them. Arteta's favourite phrase. Uh, on whether Gabriel Martinelli is fit to play 90 minutes, he said he is because he was available to play against a really tough opponent three days ago. Again, we'll train today and see the state of every player and make the right decision tomorrow. Now, interestingly, Martinelli was wearing a lot of bandage bandaging around his foot today. Um, I would suggest he's not going to be ready to play 90 minutes. Like, he clearly wasn't even ready to play half an hour against Man City. I think it was clear that the substitution that needed to be made was Martinelli, and we didn't make it until um, there really wasn't long to go. So I don't think he was ready to play even half an hour three days ago. So I don't think he'll um, start uh, tomorrow night either. Um, on having his whole squad available now that the game's are coming thick and fast. He said, yeah, we've discussed that and pushing each other and being available to contribute in any way to help us win the game and perform consistently at the top level. Uh, we're going to need everybody. And he's right. Um, is the game tomorrow televised? Tele <coughs> nearly died. Is the game tomorrow televised? Uh, probably. I'll check, but... Considering we kick off at half seven, that normally means we're televised. Because they, they tend to televise two games. They tend to televise two games. So let me have a quick check for you. Uh, yes. In fact, they're all televised, pretty much. All of the games tomorrow night are on, TN, are on TNT Sports. Uh, it's on TNT Sports. They've, um, yeah, the games tonight, the games tomorrow, and the games on Thursday are all TNT. I think Arteta will start strong. Saka, Erdegaard, Rice, White all starting. And then hopefully if we're comfortable by the 55, 60 minute mark, he brings them off. Yeah, maybe. Are all games not televised? No, not in the UK. A lot of games aren't televised in the UK, uh, which is frustrating. All the games are televised on weekdays? No, they're not. E even this week, uh, most of them are. Um, but Bournemouth against Crystal Palace and Burnley against Wolves, neither of those are televised tonight. Why can't they televise all the games like this way throughout the whole season? This shows they can do it. It's all to do with money. <laughs> it's all to do with money. Um, the three o'clock kickoff thing, that's one thing. The 3 p.m. blackout rule is its own thing. But outside of that, the reason that sometimes you get like three games that kick off at two o'clock on a Sunday and only one of them is televised, it's all to do with TV rights. So way in advance of the seasons, they release the TV. You, basically, companies can bid for the TV rights. And when they bid, it's specific what they're bidding for. So it, you get you know, you make your bid. You don't know how much any other company is bidding. It's a blind bid. I think they call it a Dutch auction, where you you make a bid, they make a bid, but you don't know how much the other person's bidding. Highest bidder wins. But it'll say you know you get X amount of games on a Sunday or whatever. They cannot go over that without then redoing the sales. It's stupid. It's ridiculously stupid, um, but it just is the way it is. Whereas the reason that everyone else around the rest of the world gets it is because they just sell a, a rights package to every game. So whether it's, I don't know, CBS or whoever it is in America, the zone in, uh, in some European countries, they will just get it as one package and that's all the games. Um, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, but what can we do? Well, this is what we can do. But um, if Saka plays all of tomorrow, then Arteta needs to give his head a wobble. Arteta sub Saka due to fatigue versus City. No way he should be playing with our April fixtures. I agree. 
I agree. Uh, I would find it baffling. Um, I'd find it absolutely baffling if uh, if Saka was to play. $19.99 from a new. Hey, Rory, great content. Keep it up. Thank you very much. That is absolutely, that is incredibly generous. That is an incredibly generous super chat. So thank you very much. Um, I hope you're well. I hope you're well. And, and that is, uh, that's incredible. Thank you very much. Um, I think the Prem should have their own streaming service. They would never make, uh, they would make so much money from all over the world if they could show every game in the season. I agree. I agree. I also think the future of, I think the future really should be that you can just buy your own team's games. You know, there should be a package where I can just buy every Arsenal game. I don't, you know, I don't care. Not that I don't care because I do watch most football games that are on TV, but for a lot of people, you know, you buy a Sky Sports package for however much you pay a month. And it's like, you might see your team once a month. Maybe you don't care about the other games. Um, whereas I think if the Premier League did their own package where you could either buy all of the games or just your own team's games, I think that would be great, but they just, they won't do it. Hi, Rory. I would personally start Pate, Zinchenko, Tommy Asu, and Trossard against Luton. Yeah, I would, um, I would potentially do that as well. I'll get into my, I'll get into my 11, uh, once we've got through this. Uh, he was asked about getting the players to not be satisfied with a point. He said, you prepare the game to win it. And when you feel that you have what it takes to go there and win, you want to do it. And if you don't, you're not satisfied. But at the same time, you have to understand how you're growing as a team and be smart enough in the moment to accept something else. Um, he was asked about playing a different style. He said, you have to sometimes because you want to adapt. And sometimes you have to adapt. You have to have the resilience and leave your ego and ideology aside and the way you have to win the game. The team was mentally really strong and it was really clever the way we did it. I think this is quite key. I think this is quite key. Um, you have to have the resilience to leave your ego at the door uh, or leave your ego and ideology aside. I think that is some self-reflection for Arteta. I think he's that's an acknowledgement. I think that last season, he tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with City and we lost both games. And I think that was an acknowledgement that... You, you know, you could go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with City and beat them, but you could also go toe-to-toe -to -toe with City and lose. Um, and when it comes down to those big, important moments, arguably City have the better players. I would say in the likes, you know, De Bruyne's goal last season, they, they were the big moments that we missed in the game at the Etihad just now. You know, we, there were two moments for us where we could have taken the win. And I feel like if City had had those chances, they would have taken the win. Um, so, but it's impressive. And this is the thing, like Mikel Arteta is learning on the job. I still think people don't recognize that he really is still learning on the job. Um, Hey Rory, I have yes yeah, score. Can watch any game that's live. Um, and any sport that's live, even pay-per-view brilliant site. Yeah, there are ways around it. Of course there are ways around it, but if you want to do it legitimately, um, it's quite annoying. Um, Saka has been so off last games. Keep passing backwards and stop the 1v1. Uh, stop 1v1 his opponent. Now the rival fans call Saka overrated and Palmer is clear of him. Ignore the rival fans. Ignore the rival fans. They're ridiculous. Uh, did you see the post-match interview from Mikel where he basically spoke about how and why he set up against City? Basically a nudge-nudge, wink-wink for teams playing City this season. Yes. Yes. Um, and, and he's right. But the thing is, right, it's it's... It's easy to know how to stop City. It's another thing having the players to do it. And no other team realistically has a centre-back pairing that's on the level of Gabriel and Saliba with Rice sat in front of them. Um, but but he's right. He is right. I'd go strong tomorrow with Zinchenko, Partey and Nelson. Interesting. Um, you've not missed a huge amount, Jack Sachs. You've not missed a huge amount. So weird that international fans can watch all of the games, but the UK home fans can't. It is. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Um, he was asked about his memories of the Luton win. Um, blah, 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 blah. Not really interesting. Asked about celebrations again. He made a joke. He was asked about when he first recognized the defensive chemistry of Saliba and Gabriel. And he said, uh, when I decided with the club to send Willow to Marseille. I think that was a bit of a joke about himself. Maybe acknowledging that maybe that wasn't the best decision as well. Um, yada, yada, yada. He was asked on whether Saliba being fit will mean we win the title. He said, let's take that one. Okay, let's move on. 
Um, he was asked about the narrative around Saliba's absence last season affecting the title charge. He said, so what is the narrative this season? Saliba is fit, so what's going to happen? There has to be a narrative, no? There has to be a narrative when he doesn't play and a narrative when he does play. And that's a fair point. If you're going to say Arsenal didn't win the league last season because Saliba was out, then in theory, that means we are going to win this, the season this season because he's there. Uh, I don't even got emails about the ballot outcome. It's been really slow. The ballot outcome today has been really slow. I literally got my email seven minutes before the start of this stream. I know some people that got theirs at like midday today. So I don't know why that's happened. I don't know why it's been rolled out so slowly, but um, it's frustrating for sure. International fans need multiple streaming service, uh, multiple streaming services for FA Cup, Champions League, Premier League, etc. Though too, yeah, but so do we. So do we. If you if you want to watch all of those, you need for the FA Cup uh, anything that's on BBC or ITV, which mainly the FA Cup. You need to have a television license, which is 150 quid a year, something like that. Uh, a lot of Premier League games are on Sky, so you need a subscription for that. Then you've got Champions League, Europa League. Conference League and one Premier League game a week on TNT Sports. So you need a subscription for that. And then you've got one, uh, two game weeks per year, normally on the bank holiday, uh, that are on Amazon. So then you need Amazon Prime for that. So it's uh, it's nutty. Were you successful? No, I was unsuccessful in the ballot. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, unfortunately, I do not know what I'm going to do. Luton are missing a lot of players. Yeah, they are. They are. They're missing 13 different players, which is incredible. Um, is the television license really real, though? Well, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I prefer not to speak. I wouldn't go that week against Luton. Look what happened last time. I agree, but if we don't go weak against Luton, and it's not even going weak. Look at, like, this is the thing. I don't think there is a way that we can go weak. If you look at the bench that we had against Man City... There, there wasn't a single player on the bench against Man City that shouldn't be capable of beating this Luton team with 13 players out. Like There is not a single player on our bench that shouldn't be able to start this game and win this game. Now, I don't think we should make seven or eight changes because that's too much to the squad at one time. But I definitely think it's an opportunity to rest some of our key players. 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. is prime time on the ticket exchange. Yeah, but it's also prime time for me to be asleep. So um, <laughs> it's tough. Being sport, almost got all of those. Yeah. Really think Jesus, Smith Rowe, Pate, Zinchenko, Vieira need to either start or come off the bench to get a fair amount of game time to get them ready. I agree. I agree. Um, there is one more thing I want to find, um, which is um, about Jury and Timber. Ah, here you go. On Yurian Timber's recovery. He's doing very well. He's back in training. He's not far off. But the thing is, uh, the last step, he hasn't played many minutes. Uh, he hasn't played any minutes. So does he need a game with the under-21s? Does he need two games? We are going to have to see, especially because he's training with us and we need to see how long that will take him. That last part is tricky and sometimes it takes a while, hopefully as soon as possible. Now, the interesting thing is he wasn't in training today and he's not been in training for a while. So... Whilst Mikel Arteta says he's back training, uh, he's not back full training. He's not back training with the full squad in a normal manner. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't, we still don't really know how long he's going to be out for. But I would say this. If we've not seen him play for the under-21s, we're not going to see him in an Arsenal squad. So at, th at the very least, until we see him in an under-21s game, we'll know that he's not back and we can stop asking the question about it. Uh, Will Z, good to see you. No problems for being late. I appreciate you turning up. Uh, on rewatch of the City game, I thought Jesus did well off the ball, helped give you all very well. He can do a proper job on the wing. Uh, it's just that he doesn't have that burst of pace. I agree. I agree. Look, Jesus didn't have a bad game. I, I think I slightly, I was slightly overcritical of him in my player ratings, ma mainly because I, I do still think that when that big opportunity fell to him, and I'm not talking about the shots from the edge of the box, of course, you you know, it'd be brilliant if one of those had gone in. But the big opportunity where he didn't peel off the back of uh, a kanji, I just think like, you know, you need that. You need that player that's going to put that in, in, in a game like that, you know, because you win that game and your favourites to win the title at that point. Timber is starting to worry me. I'm starting to think we won't see him until next season. I mean, honestly, like for me, I've kind of like, 
mentally prepared for not really seeing him in, until next season. So it's it's not massively going to bother me if we don't see him until the start of next season. Because I've all along I've just been thinking, even if we get him back, I would I would integrate him so slowly. And because we've got no other injuries at the moment, I just don't think it's worth the risk. Um, but but he was asked about uh, Timber's chances of playing for the first team again this season. He said, I think he has a good chance. I don't know the percentage, but I think he has a good chance and he's going to push it as far as he possibly can. And you've got to bear in mind, there's only six and a half weeks of the season left. You know, we aren't actually... There are a lot of games left, but there isn't much time left um, between now and the end of the season. So it will. It will almost feel like a new signing again next season. It will. Um he was asked, and this is this is a key point because we were just talking about it. He was asked on if too many changes could disrupt the team if he was to rotate. He said that's a good question. We are always wondering about that, and it's just changing certain personnel in certain moments and those relationships between the players, how long they've played together, how much time they've spent together, that can affect it as well. That's related to what they do in training every single day. We'll look at all these things and we will try to find the right team to win. Um and that's fair. That's a fair point. I do think there is a, no matter how good the players are, to a certain extent, you make too many changes all at once. You know, you see it in cup games. It can just not look very good. Don't rush Timber back because we have a surplus at left back right now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You don't, you don't want, this is the one thing you don't want to do. This is the biggest mistake we could possibly make. Try and bring him back too early when we don't need him. Like right now, it would be brilliant to have a fully fit, you know, at his best timber, the, the way we saw him at the start of the season. But we're not going to get that. And if we try and rush him back, and then he gets a setback, right? Let's say we try and rush him back, he gets a setback, he's out till the end of the season. And then, all of a sudden, Kivior and Tommy Asu get injured. All of a sudden, you're down to Justin Chenko. Whereas, if you'd not rushed Timber back, okay, Kivy or Tommy Asu get injured, Zinchenko's playing, but Timber can slowly start being integrated if he's needed. I just think you've got to be sensible with it. And as much as we all want to see him play, it's um, yeah, it's just it's just playing smart. It's playing smart, and we're lucky that we do have a surplus in that position right now. We are lucky. Uh, but that's it for uh, that's it for what Arteta spoke about. Um, and so, in terms of my team. I would go Ryer and goal. I would go Tommy Asu. No, would I? No, I wouldn't. I'd go Ben White at right back. I would go Saliba, Tommy Asu, Zinchenko. And I know a lot of people are saying play Kivior ahead of um, Gabriel. Kivior's played a lot of games. And Kivior's a player who hasn't actually, you know, previously played uh, as many intense games. Kivior's basically played not every minute, but he's he's played every game since the Liverpool game, basically. Since since halftime in the Liverpool game, he's basically played every game. And then he went away on international duty and played 120 minutes for Poland as well against Wales. Played two games, played 120 minutes against Poland. So I actually think Kivior could do with a break. Um so I'd I'd go Tommy Asu left centre back <clears throat> and Zinchenko uh, left back. And look, Rams. I don't think Zinchenko is as horrific at, de at defending as people may suggest. But if Zinchenko can't start against Luton, he can never start a game again for the club. And, and if you're talking about Luton with 13 injuries, where Ogbene, who's their real threat, their real pacey threat, you know, he's going to be coming up against Andros Townsend. If we can't trust Zinchenko to play against Andros Townsend, what are we doing? Like, like what, like what are we doing? And and the thing is, we can trust him to play against Andros Townsend. He will barely have to do any defending against Luton. You know, if, if we play anywhere near our best, Zinchenko has no defending to do, or very little defending to do against Luton. Um, so I just, I, 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 yeah, I don't think, I don't think you can, you can just rule out Zinchenko forever, effectively. If Timber played for Newcastle or Man United, Timber would be four months ago, would be back four months ago. However, he'd ended up doing his ACL again. Yeah, exactly. Botman. Botman's the prime example. They tried to rush him back, ignore the fact that he had an ACL issue, and uh, and, and it cost him. Zinni is only questionable against top teams, in my opinion. Yeah. Zinni is a liability. It's world-class right wings. Right? Absolutely. It's why... You know, last 
Mason Woods has to come in at left back to replace Zinchenko against Liverpool. Um, I think my internet's just gone a bit weird, so I apologise if it's laggy. Um, is it laggy? Am I still going? How bad is it? On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is the lag? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's struggling. Connection is unstable. Connection is unstable. It's a 5. It's an 8. Okay, hopefully it will recover. Hopefully it will recover. Uh, can hear you, but the camera is lagging. All right, we'll we'll just we're gonna plow on and hopefully it recovers. But yeah, look, Zinchenko is. I said one to ten and then realized I didn't actually say which was high and which was low. If if ten was bad, then I'm guessing these eights and nines are bad. Audio is okay, but video is bad. Okay, it's back to normal. It's back to normal. Virgin Wi-Fi can honestly, honestly, swivel on it. They are useless. Um, but yeah, look, Zinchenko starts. So that's my back four: White, Saliba. Tomiyasu, Zinchenko. Uh, Gabriel, Kivio both get a rest. Midfield. Declan Rice, Thomas Partey. Fabio Vieira. Rice, Partey, Fabio Vieira. Rest Erdegaard. Gabriel Jesus off the right. Trossard off the left. Havertz through the middle. I think that's my team. I think that's my team. Erdegaard's never going to have a chance at a rest if it isn't this game. Saka's never going to have a chance at a rest if it isn't this game. Vieira's the left eight. I think Vieira can just play Erdegaard's role. Not as well as Erdegaard plays it. Um, but I think Vieira can play Erdegaard's role. I would then, in the second half, if we're comfortable which I'm hoping we would be, take off Declan Rice, move Thomas Partey into the six, and bring on Smith-Rowe as the left eight. And the midfield would be Partey, Smith-Rowe, and Fabio Vieira. Important question, why do you never respond to chat on TFT? Um, do you mean like type in the chat whilst I'm on there or just acknowledge it? I acknowledge it. Sometimes I'll, if you watch me, I'll just, I'll give a nod. I'll give a nod to the chat. On TFT. Um, Smith Rowe minutes. Yeah, he'd get the second half for me. Smith Rowe would get the second half if if we've... The problem is, if we make all of those changes at the start of the game, we do run a little bit of a risk. We do run a little bit of a risk. Um, so, so, yeah, that's the team that I would go for. And then, look, you've got Martinelli to come off the bench if you need him. You've got Saka to come off the bench if you need him. You've got Erdegaard to come off the bench if you need him. Like, you can bring those players on if you need them, but they get a rest. And so that way, Erdegaard could rest for the entire game. Saka could rest for the entire game. Um, Gabriel could rest for the entire game. Kivior could rest for the entire game. And Declan Rice could get 45 minutes rest. And then maybe you can even take off Saliba at half time. Like, it depends how comfortable it is at half time. I don't, I don't want to, you know, disrespect Luton. Um, but... But that way, pretty much all of our key players get a rest. The thing is, effectively, you can only rest two of the defenders. And then maybe one other defender gets like 45 minutes rest. We can't completely use the reserve team. We can't complete like Luton Town have scored in 18 consecutive games. They're not as they're not awful. They're not awful by any stretch. We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. I won't be happy if he doesn't rest a few key players at least. Yeah, I agree, Wilsey. I, I do agree. I say play a strong team, get early goals and rest the second half. Yeah. Yeah. But I wouldn't go full I wouldn't go full strength. Uh so laggy. It shouldn't be laggy now, Blueprints. Or maybe you're behind and you should you're you're riding the wave of lag right now. Last time was scary. I don't think it'll be like last time, to be fair though. I don't think it'll be like last time. Alfie Doughty's a massive miss for them. He's played every game so far this season. Um, Ogbené's played all but one game for them this season. Chong's played almost all of the games for them this season. You know, I think they're... Um, I do think they're missing some some key players there. No Martinelli start. I don't think Martinelli's ready to start. I don't think... He, he only played 10 minutes, really, against City. 15 minutes. I don't think he's ready to start a game. 
That was three days ago. He's got a lot of strapping on his foot as well. There were pictures of him in training today. Um, if he's behind, he can't hear you. That's a very good point. <laughs> that is a very good point. Is Chong injured? Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Who are they missing? These. This is the list of players. This is 13 players that are, that are unavailable for Luton. Amari Bell, Gabe Osho, Reese Burke, Tom Lockyer, Mads Anderson, Dan Potts. That is six of the seven centre-backs at the club are unavailable. Alfie Doughty and Ryan Giles, although Ryan Giles is just out on loan, so they're not really missing him, but Alfie Doughty's missing. Marvellous Nakamba, Albert Sambi Lekonga, so two central midfielders. And then the wingers, they're missing Ogbene, they're missing Chong, and they're missing Jacob Brown, which means Andros Townsend is the only winger they have that has really played this season. The other two wingers they've got have made one appearance each this season, and they're missing Adebayo. So, yeah, <clears throat> they are missing a lot of players. It's practically their second team, so we should be all right to rotate. If we're not, we ain't getting the title. Exactly. Yeah, Lukonga can't. Yeah, Lukonga's not injured. He just can't play against us because we're his parent club. Uh, I disagree because if you change all of that, you lose all the flow, especially without Erdegaard to run the game. I'd go with Partey, Zinni, Tommy, and Vieira on the right. Uh, score goals in the first half, then rest. Yeah, that, look, that's fair. That's fair. I just, long term, I don't think Fabio Vieira is the right winger. Uh, Barkley, Townsend, and Morrison versus Zinni are a threat. <coughs> yeah, but they're not just against Zinni. This is the thing. They're also against Saliba and Declan Rice and Ben White and either Gabriel or Kivio or Tommy Assi. Like, I. I don't, I, I, to be honest, I disagree with a lot of the conversation around Zinchenko. Uh, I really disagree with a lot of the conversation around Zinchenko. Like, we're, we're acting like we didn't have one of the strongest defences last season with him playing at left back. Uh, like, the, the narrative that he cannot defend at all has gone way too far. It's gone way too far. I don't, I don't agree with it. Uh, this is a chance for our squad players uh, to impress and show they are ready to play an important role in the running. I agree. I agree. Tommy Asu's fit. Yeah, Tommy Asu can play. I say we play Zinni first half, Tommy second half. We'll play Tommy on the right. So my issue with playing Tommy on the right is that I've seen this before. I actually think right back is Tommy Asu's weakest position. And the issue I've got is that if you take out Saka, you're playing Tommy Asu at right back, someone at right wing who doesn't normally play there or isn't the best there. And we've seen it before where the right-hand side just does not work at all. Um, like I remember seeing, was it Tommy Asso and Fabio Vieira? Was it pre-season we had Tommy Asso and Fabio? No. Or was it the FA Cup game, maybe? Third round of the FA Cup? I can't remember what game it was, but we had we had Fabio Vieira right wing and Tommy Asso at right back. And I said, I never, ever, ever wanted to see that combination again. Um, Shout out from shout out from Virginia Beach Gooners. Shout out to Virginia Beach Gooners. Legends. Jesus at right wing. Yeah, for me. Jesus right wing, Trossard left wing, Habits through the middle. That's what I'd go. Part of me kind of wants to start Reese Nelson, to be honest. But uh, <coughs> I don't think we will. I don't think I've just got a feeling we're not going to start Reese Nelson. I think he's going to get sold. Zinchenko disrespect is mad. He's nowhere near as bad a defender as people make out. And we all know he's absolutely elite at building up play. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and just just being completely honest, he's not going to need to defend much tomorrow. He's just not. Monaco Emirates Cup. Yeah, that might have been the one. That might have been the one. Um, Smith Rowe left wing. Possibly. Smith Rowe could start. Smith Rowe could start. In some ways, I'd rather Smith Rowe started ahead of uh, Fabio Vieira, but I just don't see it. Rest Erdegaard for Vieira? Yeah, I agree. I would rest Erdegaard for Vieira. My midfield would be my midfield would start Rice, Partey, Vieira. And at halftime, if we were comfortable, take Rice off, bring Smith Rowe on, drop Partey to the six, and have Partey, Vieira, and Smith Rowe. Luton about to pull out the most diabolical low block. Do you know what? They actually, they're not very good at it. And this is why I'm not immensely worried about the game. Because l l did you see them against uh, City? They can't, they can't deploy a low block. I've, I've seen them try it. Um, so 
I don't I don't think I, they might try it. They might try it, but I don't think it'll go well for them. You know, they didn't really deploy load lock massively against us. They played well against us. They played very well against us. But, you know, the, the only reason they were in that game was because we let them into it with some bad mistakes, um, mainly from David Raya, to be fair. So, And that's another big change. David Raya is far better now than he was the last time we played them. Uh, honestly, we'd love Smith Rowe to score. That would be the dream. That would be the dream. Thoughts on Nketiah playing? I'm not bothered. I think we sell him in the summer. I don't think he's good enough to start. Um, I, I wouldn't start him. I wouldn't start him. No. I'd, I'd rather... There are so many options I'd rather do than start Eddie Nketiah. If you're not going to play Havertz up top, play Jesus up top, bring, put Reese Nelson on the right. Or play Trossard through the middle, put Reese Nelson on the left. Put Jesus on the right. Put Jesus on the left. Put Nelson on the right. Put Smith Rowe on the left. Put Fabio Vieira on the right. There are so many combinations of things I'd rather do than start Eddie Nketiah up top. Daily Gierkares mention, of course, of course. I'm actually um, keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to make a, a separate video about Victor Gierkares. Just basically a full explanation as to why I'm on the the, the Gierkares steam train. Um. $50 for a max. AFC max. Unbelievable. Hey, Rory, I love the fact that rivals are still salty over the City draw, but for some reason it seems to be more Liverpool than City, which is weird because we don't have an issue with them. Or are they threatened by Arteta surpassing Klopp? That is an unbelievable super chat, Max. Um, thank you so much. We've had, we've had two huge super chats today, which is unbelievable. I'm incredibly grateful. Um, so thank you very much. And in terms of what you're saying, you're right. I think... I do think there's an element with Liverpool that they are very concerned that Arteta can basically equal Klopp's Premier League record. Um, and that would be tough for them. Um, it is weird, though. It is weird. You know, I saw, I saw one of those big Liverpool accounts today tweet, without set-piece goals, Arsenal would be in sixth. And it's like, what the hell kind of a stat is that? Without set-piece goals, Arsenal would be in sixth. All right. <laughs> Just as well, set-pieces are part of the game then. Um it's it's absolutely b bizarre the way that some of them are going overboard. I think with City, they just don't need to care as much, really. Like, City can always... And this is the difference between City and Liverpool. City can fall back on the treble. City can... You know, whatever we do this season, City will be like, we've done three in a row, we've won the treble, you know, we had an off-season, good for you. Whereas Liverpool, it's much closer. And I do think, you know, if they don't win the Premier League this season... One Premier League in nine years. I, I think they are. I think they are very worried about it. Um, but look, great question, first of all. And yeah, secondly, once again, thank you ever so much for the huge super chat. Um, if we win the Premier League this year, he's basically tied with uh, Klopp in the league. Yeah, exactly. If we win the league this year, I mean, right. Long, you know, it's a long shot. If we were to win the Premier League and the Champions League this year and do the double, again, don't think it's going to happen, but it's still possible. If we did do that, we, he's equaled Klopp, really. I know Klopp's won a, a, maybe... How many How many FA Cups has Klopp won? How, in fact, that's a good point. How many FA Cups has Klopp won? Like, don't get me wrong. Arteta won't be fully on the same number of trophies as Klopp, but one Champions League, one Premier League, it is basically the same. Uh, what's he actually won? What has he actually won? He has won. No, he's won one. Uh, no. Uh, so he's won the UEFA. He won the yeah the Premier League, the Club World Cup, the UEFA Super Cup, one FA Cup, and two two uh, Carabao Cups. So so if Arteta was to win the Premier League and the Champions League this season, and again I don't think it's going to happen, but if he did, Arteta in half the time of Klopp would be two Carabao Cups behind him in terms of overall trophies. And I think that worries Liverpool fans. I really do think that worries Liverpool fans. Uh, we, all may, we may all disagree on that 11, uh, on what the 11 should be tomorrow, but we can all agree no Cedric involvement. Yes. Look, there's a good chance that we don't see Cedric. Well, no, there's not a good chance because we probably will get a couple of injuries here and there, but there is a chance that we don't see Cedric in an Arsenal squad again. And, uh, you know, God bless. Actually, it's quite sad. It's quite sad to think that we might not ever see El Nani on an, in an Arsenal uh, squad again. That is quite sad. Bearing in mind, uh, Liverpool was not Klopp's first managerial stint. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, 
And also, and this is an interesting talking point, right? If you ask Liverpool fans to rate some of their players from the Klopp era, if you saw it on Twitter recently when people were doing their Premier League all-time 11s, there were Liverpool fans that had Alisson, Trent, Van Dijk, Salah. So at least four of them. At least four of, of Klopp's team, they put in the all-time list of Premier League players. And then you add into the, you know, the likes of Sadio Mane, who was one of the best at the time. Firmino's one of the best false nines we've seen in the Premier League. Robertson's one of the best left backs that the Premier League's had for the last decade. Not decade quite, but five, six, seven years. So you say, well, you've had all of these seemingly all-timer players and you ended up with one Premier League. Is that good enough? Is that good enough? Best to block out those Liverpool fans. General lack of common sense in that fan base. The thing is, I like quite a lot of Liverpool fans. And like, I can have good conversations with them. But on Twitter, they just seem... I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're wild. They're wild. But also, they're top of the league. I don't know why they're concerned about us. Do you think Liverpool could choke against United? Um, it's possible. I'd be surprised. I think they'll beat United. I do think they'll beat United. I think there's the period that Liverpool have that's going to be tough for them. They play four away games in 10 days. They go away to Atalanta. They go away to Fulham. They go away to Everton. And they go away to West Ham. Can't remember if it's that exact order, but it's definitely away to Atalanta and then three Premier League away games against Fulham, Everton and West Ham. All in the space of 10 days. That, for me, if they're going to drop points, is where they will drop points. Because that's just... It's not like an incredibly tough run. They're not playing in incredible sides. But it's just a lot of travelling. It's, you know, it, it's tough for them. That's going to be the part that they'll drop points if they drop points, in my opinion. Um, imagine Koscielny and Mustafi against Haaland. Definition of finished. Couldn't deal a finish, uh, with a finished Berbatov. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The games today, someone actually asked this before. So the games that are on today, I think it was Jelly Belly asked it. Um, you've got Newcastle against Everton, which kicks off in 20 minutes. That could be a good game. There's a, there's a little bit of spice around Everton and Newcastle at the moment. They seem to dislike each other. Uh, Forest against Fulham. Bournemouth against Palace. Burnley against Wolves. And then at 8.15... Uh, West Ham against Spurs. So I'll probably end up watching the West Ham Spurs game. Well, I'll watch the first half of Newcastle Everton and then flick over to West Ham versus Spurs. Um, you're going to watch Ben. Is Benfica against Sporting tonight? Oh, bloody hell. Gyrkaresh watch is going to have to take priority. Is that tonight? Uh... Oh, it is as well. 8.45. 8.45. Um, oh my god, a ten dollar super chat from Aaron. Thank you so much. Yo, the stream have been banging. Yeah, I mean the numbers were on. This is this is incredible. This is incredible. Um, it's two hundred and forty of you are watching. If you're not subscribed, by the way, please do subscribe. The channel's growing. I mean, we only just hit nine thousand. We're up to nearly nine thousand three hundred. The road to ten k is on. Um, Aaron, a long long term supporter of this channel. Thank you very much. Smash a like on the video if you can as well. And then we've got another $20 from Max. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Rory, both this and the last Super Chat is for you and your fantastic contribution about all things Arsenal. I still laugh over the JSM City Arsenal starting 11 and Liverpool trying to put themselves as the underdog. I don't buy it. Another $20, Max. Absolute legend. Thank you so, so much for what you've uh, contributed in this stream. And look, the, so the JSM combined 11, right? That was meant to be a little bit of fun. When I threw Kai Havertz in for Erl, instead of Erling Haaland, it was meant to, I knew it was going to rattle. You know, I, I just thought it would ruffle some feathers. Um, I wasn't expecting to get, you know, actual death threats over it, but I did. And it's all, it's all just part of the fun. It is all just part of the fun. And uh, in the end, was I wrong? Was I wrong about Havertz over Haaland in that game? I think he offered more. Um, oh my God, hyper-protagonist with £19.99. No diddy. Unbelievable. What is going on? I don't know what is going on, but this is absolutely mental. This is absolutely mental. Hyper-protagonist, thank you so much. I just, I do not know what's going on. This is, this is like equaled, this is equaled basically the whole of last month on uh, on youtube but you know what it is it, ross lawman is right 
the computer for fu- oh no i clicked the wrong one i clicked the wrong one again the computer fund is growing the computer fund is growing um absolutely sensational what is going on five dollars from devin what's your top five pizza toppings um <laughs> top five pizza toppings where are we going here where are we going we haven't even done guest laguna um and top five pizza toppings then no, no, this is serious now because we do actually there are some look we can talk about football and we can joke about it but if we're going to start talking about pizza toppings then we've got to we've got to actually slow down and think about it think about it pizza toppings now there are some absolute musts pepperoni has to be in there cheese cheese has to be in there i like and you can go one or two ways here either Red onion or pepper. You can go red onion or pepper, either or. I'm counting that as kind of three. You're then looking at a white meat. I'm going chicken. I'm going chicken. And then you've got one more. One more. Pa- Vlad. Vlad, listen. You are you are an absolute legend of this stream. But we are not having pineapple. We are not having pineapple. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Uh, we've got 27 money has come in from da 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 uh, Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Tw- I mean, I don't know what that is. What's that currency? We'll call it money. It's 27 money added on. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Uh, 4.99 from Godson Smart. Didn't even leave a comment. Didn't even leave a comment. I still need one more pizza topping. Uh, Jonathan Landy, five euros just with a love heart. I mean, this is incredible. This is honestly, this is this is incredible. Um, I appreciate this so much. What is going on? We've got 10 money from Knock. Uh, no, Knock. No, from Fishy Bootkin. Fishy Bootkin's given us 10 Knock. Um, I, I don't know. I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless with what is going on right now. Um, this is the best stream ever. This is the best. Why is it a random Tuesday? <laughs> what are we? It's a random Tuesday. And it's just going, this is mental. This is mental. <laughs> This is mental. Aaron's just given $25. 10 nil to the Arsenal tomorrow. I hope so. I hope so. $25. What are we doing? And then a news come back in with $10. He said, I may have started the Super Chats. Might as well keep them going. Thanks for always standing up for the club and the manager. I will always stand up for the club and the manager. Um, this is this is ridiculous. Four ninety nine from Harry Price says, Hi, Rory. Love your videos. What's your predictions for the game tomorrow? Uh, my predictions for the game tomorrow. I can't even think about the game tomorrow. Um, honestly, this is absolutely berserk. Uh, I do think we'll win. I think we'll win four nil. I think we'll win four nil tomorrow. I'm confident. We've got to go and put. A, you know, for all of the people that are saying we're defensive and this, that, and the other, tomorrow is the chance to just go and put another four on the board, extend that goal margin by even further. And uh, and that'll be that'll be what we do. This is honestly, I don't know what's going on. Four ninety nine again from Godson Smart. He says, "Hi Rory, first time actually catching a live, watching while getting ready for work. We'll replay when I get home. Love from Texas. Thank you so much. Love to Texas. Um, incredible. The amount of people that watch from like all around the world as well is just absolutely crazy. Sixty five money." Uh, it's seven pounds. I like turtles and Rory talks football from Halas. Um, I just, I don't know what's going on. I man's about to start stripping. Honestly, honestly, I feel, I feel like that's what's going on here. It's like, I'm just getting thrown. It's like, it's just being thrown at me. I do not know what's going on. The stream's not going to end. It's not going to end. Uh, we've got 199 from young I had to jump in somehow. I appreciate it so much. Absolutely appreciate it. Young Tar, a long-term legend of this channel, as is Emilio, who's given 249 euros. Get yourself something nice. This is all going in the pot for the new PC. This is all. In fact, you know what? It's actually, there's a priority. Before the new PC, we're getting a new camera. We're going to get a new camera, and that is going to be vital for the gaming streams, which are going to be coming soon. Um, And this is all going to go towards that. Brennan McAdams, first time in the stream. Been watching your vids recently. Great channel, mate. Fun and informative. Thank you so much. And welcome. Welcome to the live streams. I don't want to disappoint you. The live streams are not normally like this. This is this is somehow got wildly out of control in a way that they just it's not normally like this. 40. 
I don't know what that symbol is, but 40 money from DeVergo, just a super sticker, no comment attached to it. I just don't know what's going on. What's going on? 15, uh, is that Canadian dollars from VV Vlad? Had to jump in. Best Arsenal streams, in my opinion. VV Vlad is an absolute legend of the channel. Um, one of the longest, one of the longest, the goat, the goat of Guest Laguna. Um, I, I don't, I still haven't named my fifth pizza topping. What's your fifth pizza topping? Um, what is my fifth pizza topping? It's actually annoying me that I can't think what, maybe like, no, it's not ham. It's not ham. It's not ham. I don't know what it is. Two pounds from Ross Lawman says, well, let's keep it going. I mean, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say no. If you want to keep it going. This is insane. Goon Gang AFC with 199. Only Rory's sub. Uh, honestly, honestly, we can move over to another platform if it keeps it going. We can. Uh, we can. AFC Max, $10. I'm sorry, pineapple has to be top five pizza toppings. And if you don't put it in the top five, I'm going to do a JSM riot. And I'm pretending, uh, predicting a 3-0 win tomorrow. Last Super Chat, love from Australia. Honestly, Max... You've you've turned this you've turned this uh, stream into just an absolute I don't know what it is an absolute just madness a madness that I just would never have expected in in ever I don't know what's going on but but look I'll put I'll eat pineapple on pizza if that's if I'll eat pineapple on pizza for 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 the eighty dollars worth of super chat that you that you've provided I'll put pineapple on my pizza. Um, no, I do actually still need to think of another pizza stopping though, because this is getting annoying. Maybe beef. You know, like the shredded spicy beef? That might be the one that we go for. Shredded spicy beef. Uh, go buy us some Bappe. Oh, the rate is going. Dominic, 199. Thank you so much. Dominic, another longtime viewer of the streams. Two euros from TB. Rory eating lobster tonight. Honestly, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Thank you so much for the two euros. Ethan. Been here from the start, and he absolutely has been here from the start. He said, be rude not to join in. Keep up the great work. You deserve all this love. Thank you so much, Ethan. And you are another of the long-term goats. And I was just about to say that is it, but it's not. We've got another $2 uh, from, pine uh, he says, pineapple on pizza. This is from Devin. It says, pineapple on pizza is a crime. I cannot allow this. I don't disagree. I don't disagree, Devin. It, it, is, it is a bit, look, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to offend uh max because he has contributed significantly but um you know it is a bit you know you do start checking hard drives you do start checking hard drives uh we've got 13 money from D -D dart as well he's just sent another super sticker absolutely unbelievable this is this is this is this has been unbelievable this has been unbelievable 199 from blake rory your streams are the best keep it up come on you gunners I will. I will keep it up. And listen, this is just mental. This is this is mental. And um, I, I just want to thank you all. I want to thank you all. I want to thank everyone, everyone that has given uh, a super chat, has given money. It genuinely massively will help. It massively will help. That's probably got me like, I don't know. I haven't even counted it as we've been going, but it's definitely helped towards getting a camera. But I also want to thank everyone who's not given uh, a super chat. Genuinely, everyone that turns up every night or every other night or watches back after the streams, um, the support's been unreal. You know, we came back at whatever it was, the start of last month, and uh, the streams have been growing, the subscribers have been growing. Um, it's been amazing. And I see it when I go on other channels as well. I know some of you watch other channels, and when I join, um, you big me up as well. So I'm just, I'm blown away by the support. Hyper protagonist with another 199. Good news, lads. Rory signs a 10 minute extension. Oh, we'll keep it going all night. We'll keep it going all night. Um, but look, I mean, I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away um, by what's just happened. And I can't thank you enough. I can't. I would happily uh, 20, 20 pounds a month to get all the games. Oh, Reese is further back in the stream. Wait until Reese joins up with this part of the stream. He's going to be absolutely mind blown. Absolutely mind blown. No, 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 Carter. Never, 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 never feel bad. Um, honestly, if you turn up, you subscribe if you're not subscribed already and you drop a like on the video, that is all I ever ask for. All I ever ask for. Um, Harry Price with 199, he says, pizza is not even that nice. Well, do you know what? Someone asked a very important question the other night. 
pizza or pasta? And I did go pasta. I did go pasta. So, um, but P I do love a pizza. I do love a pizza. Uh, DD Darts given 27 money, bigger than Lee Gunner soon. Listen, I prefer not to speak about Lee Gunner, but, um, but yeah, look, we're, we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop. The streams keep coming. The videos keep coming. And uh, I just appreciate Aaron with another $10. Aaron has been here since the beginning. One of the very first supporters of the channel. I think the first member of the channel. He's given another $10. But let's keep it going. And uh, Blake with 199, favorite Arsenal streamer. Honestly, love your content. I appreciate that. I do massively appreciate that. Uh, Rory talks food coming soon. We can talk about food any day of the week. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I do. You might notice. I mean, uh, you know, I do like food. I do like food. Another 199 from Hyper Protagonist. Thank you so much. He says, on behalf of Carter Simpson, that that is this community in a nutshell. On behalf of Carter, Hyper Protagonist, 199. I love it. I love this community. And and the thing is, like, the community started growing, and then we're back, and I just, I don't know what's going on. Rory, do you stream at the same, same time each day? I do. I stream pretty much every day, 6.30. 6.30 every day pretty much will be here. The dogs join the party. Come on, get on screen. Look at this. Look at, look at this. Say thank you. Say thank you. That'll pay for your food for like three weeks. That'll pay for your food for three weeks. Incredible. Okay, I'll put you down now. Um, it's still going. It's still going. I don't know what's going on. This is ridiculous. Uh, 199 from Harry Price says Rory is loaded. Trust me, this is going straight back into this. This is going straight back into this. A hundred percent. Um, Thanks for always being level-headed. To be honest, this is the biggest head loss I've ever had on a stream. I do normally like to keep myself composed, but this is this is the biggest head loss I've ever had on a stream. Aaron has gifted five subs or memberships to the channel. Unbelievable. There are now five new members. Aaron, thank you so much. Um, there are five new members. If you're a new member, Magnus has got a membership. There you go. Ethan udal has got a membership. Uh, PV got a membership as well, as did Pekka. Do you know what? It, the, the memberships there have gone to some of the OGs of this channel as well. Um, congratulations on being members. Make sure you thank Aaron for that, by the way. An absolute legend. Blake with 199. No message, but just more support for this stream. Um, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And by the way, by the way, it's time for Guess the Guna, the game where I give you five clues about an ex or current Arsenal player. And you have to guess who that player is in the chat. First person to get it right wins the immense pride and respect of the Rory Talks Football community. Another 27 money from DD Dart. It's a super sticker, no message, but just more support. You've been, look, you've contributed so much to this stream as well. Thank you so much. Absolute legend. Um, Let's get, let's get into Guess the Guna. Let's get into Guess the Guna. Honestly, this is... I'm going to tell my grandkids about this stream. I'm going to tell my grandkids about this one. Unbelievable. Clue number one. This player made their Arsenal debut in December 2021. They made their Arsenal debut in December 2021. Max has just gifted five memberships as well. What is going on, Max? Thank you so much. I don't know who those those uh, memberships have just gone to, but if you've just been given a membership from Max, make sure you thank him. Uh, who got one? Young Tar just got one. Absolutely brilliant. Love to see that for Young Tar. Um, Max, Max, what a legend you've been for this stream. What a legend you've been for this stream. Clue number two, they were born in Watford, England. They were born in Watford, England. Clue number three, they scored on their debut. They scored on their debut. Clue number four, they scored two goals in 34 games in the championship last season. And clue number five, they are currently on loan at Swansea City. Ross Lawman's got a membership as well. Do you know what? It's like it's selected. No, I'm not going to say that because some people that are, that are also legends haven't got a membership yet. But Ross Lawman's a member as well. Um, thoroughly deserved, thoroughly deserved for Ross Lawman. He's also given another two pounds extra dollar as YouTube takes a cut. The greedy, yeah. Look, YouTube's had a field day today. YouTube's 
YouTube's I'm funding YouTube here. Uh, well, you're funding YouTube here. But um, unbelievable. Right, let me try and find out who actually won that because it was a mess. It was a mess. Who won it? Who won it? Uh, the first person to get that correct was... It was Sam Shapiro. It was indeed Charlie Patino. Charlie Patino. Um, congratulations. Congratulations. Second was... Vivi Vlad was in second. Uh, Harry was in third. Uh, Fishy Boopkin was in fourth. And ba -ba 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 -da. who was fifth? Who was fifth? Ethan Udall was fifth. So there you go. Um, there you go. Congratulations uh, to the win. Oh, my God. Max has given another 10 memberships. What is going on, Max? Max, what a legend. Uh, there should be a load more of you that now also have memberships. This is this is outrageous. This is outrageous. Max, I don't know how to thank you. Um, you've come along. You've come along and you have just erupted this stream. You've just absolutely erupted this stream. I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, Mutant Yomi has got a membership. Uh, there you go. You were given a membership whilst offline. Congratulations. So many legends. There are. There are so many. Every, everyone in this chat is a legend. Max has given another five. Max has given another five. I don't know what's going on. By the end of this, Max is going to have gifted the entire stream. A member. You'll all be, every single name here is going to be a member by the end of this stream because Max has just gone off on one. George Christodoulou, one of the OGs, has just got one as well. Congratulations, George. Um, congratulations. Uh, Samuel's got one as well. Samuel's got one as well. This is this is staggering. This is staggering. Another 199 from Harry Price. Rory, what does a membership do? Right now, a membership gives you a green name because I need to figure out what I'm going to do for members. But there are things in the pipeline. I've got some like... I've got some things on the back burner, more to do with TikTok and, and Instagram and stuff in terms of brands that I can potentially be working with. Um, people that I could potentially be working with. And one of my biggest priorities is going to be creating something for members to do with that. Some way that I can give back to the members every month. Um, but I, I need to sort that out. I, I, I've, I'm always saying I need to sort things out. But I do need to sort something out for that because there's definitely going to be something for members down the line. Um, Max, again, Thank you so, so much. It's uh, It's been absolutely ridiculous. Lil Grimp's got one as well. There you go. Fizzy, well done and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, DD Dad's come in with another 27 money and says, you deserve this so much. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve... Don't, don't get me wrong. I've put a lot of work into this, but I do it for, I do it for the game. I do it for the love of the sport. I do it for the love. But... <laughs> I'm not going to say no to this because this has been the best stream we've ever done. Uh, Ethan Udal as well with 199. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Do you know what I've been absolutely rinsing recently is um, Wingstop. I've been rinsing Wingstop recently. And in fact, it's actually getting quite out of hand. It's getting quite out of hand, the Wingstop. But, but yeah, I would say Wingstop. That's not really, not chicken's not really normally my go-to either. Um, I do. I, I, I'll be honest. Five Guys, a Five Guys burger, sensational. But it's cheaper to go for an actual meal out than get a Five Guys these days. So, um, Devin's a new member. Devin has has made himself a member. Devin, thank you so much. You know, you're a long term. You're a long term um, watcher, subscriber, legend of the chat. Wasn't lucky, so I had to do it the hard way. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. The family grows. The family grows. What's your Wingstop order? So at the moment, I don't know if you know this, if you get on Deliveroo at the moment, there's this £7 off thing. So if you get tw if you get your order to 20 quid, you get £7 off. And it applies to Wingstop. So if you get, and this is going to make me sound like an absolute beast. Um, if you get five, uh, is it five? Yeah, five tenders. Eight of the bite things and cheesy chips comes to just over 20 quid, and then you get seven off. It's sensational. Hush, are you going to leave or what's going on here? Um, 
Streams got yeah, this stream is going down in history. So yeah, that's the wing stop order. Oh, and then in terms of what I have on it, I have the um what uh what's it called? What is it called? I'm gonna have to find it. I'm gonna have to find it. On the bites, I have the garlic parmesan. And on the other one, I have um I'm gonna I'm gonna end up ordering Wingstop here because I'm I've opened the app now. I've opened the app now. Louisiana rub. Louisiana rub is what we go for. Um four dollars ninety nine from Godson Smart as well. Rory, you can definitely afford a five guys after tonight. Well, you're not wrong. You're not Max, 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 Max. Max has just gifted 50 memberships. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? I don't even know what to say. 50 memberships. If you're not a member at this point, you are actually one of the most unlucky people going because that is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Max, I don't even have words. I don't even have words. I don't have words. I don't have words. Max. What well, I genuinely I'm not even joking. We might have just we might have just got the camera off this screen, off this stream. Like we might have just got. The, I don't. I don't. To be honest, I don't know how much I actually get from all of this once TikTok's taken their stuff. But I'm not even joking. We're like we're on the road to the camera, big time. Um, there are 51 starred messages. 51 of you. 51 donations, super chats, memberships. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. Absolutely blown away. Max, you're going down in history. You're going down. I should. I, I need to rename the channel. Rory talks football. Thanks to Max. Unbelievable. I've never seen such things. I've never seen such things. I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this. Um, it's it's Max is the Roman Abramovich of Rory talks football. He is. He is. <laughs> Max is my to- Max is my Todd Bowley. And do you know what? Suddenly, I realised why Ch- Chelsea fans at the f- at first loved Todd Bowley because you are my Todd Bowley. No way I had allowed gifts off. Why is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know. Rory sponsored by Max. Literally. Literally sponsored by Max at this point. Um, and do you know what? It's awesome to see so many of you are now uh, members as well. It is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, I can see you sweating. I am sweating. I'm literally, I'm, 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 I just don't know what to do. I'm in shock. I'm absolutely in shock. You're turning into an oil YouTube channel. I am. <laughs> Listen, oil me up, daddy. No, that sounded awful. That sounded awful. Um, I had allowed gifts off. Wasn't luck. Uh, gonna have to spend. Listen, we're going for the camera. We're going for the camera. We are going for the camera. A hundred percent. And once we've got the camera, gaming streams start. And then we're opening up a whole new can of worms. And on the gaming streams, that is perfect for the. That's where you get your pizza topping answers. That's where you get your favorite dessert answers. That's that's where we're gonna get all of it. Um, but I'm just, I'm just absolutely blown away, absolutely blown away. Um, now, Ethan, we're not, no, we're, let's not, we're not having that. We're not having that. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. Anyway, anyway, uh, it's time for guess the non guna. It is time for guess the non guna. Um, I had it pulled up, and then in all the excitement, I closed the tab. Oh no, I was, I was looking for. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. It just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. $5 from Max. Love for the love. Congrats to everyone who got it. Sorry for those who didn't. I'm going to stop now. Max, <laughs> you don't need to apologize for those people that didn't get a membership. Um, you're a hero. You're an absolute hero. Uh, I'm just unbelievable. And and one ninety nine from Harry Price. Oil me up, daddy. What? No, that didn't happen. I didn't. You you said that. You said I don't know who said that. I don't know who said that. I don't know who said that, but um, but I'm just, just yeah. Can oh yeah, I should probably mod. Can I do that in here? I need to do it on the YouTube. I need to do it on the YouTube, but I do need to. Can I? I can make him a mod. I don't know if I can give him some sort of a knighthood. Um, I don't know if I can make him a sir in the chat, but uh, I will. I will sort that out because this is just this is just ridiculous. But we do have guest the Nonguna. We do have guest the Nonguna. We don't. Listen, there are some things that do not stop. 
And one thing that does not stop is guess the Nonguna. Um, so I just need to bring that up. But this is just, I'm sweating. Um, um, I don't know what's going on. It's Matty Cash. Maxi Cash. It's Maxi Cash is who it is. Max has got to his max donations. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Um, here we go. Here we go. Right. Let me, let me, uh, let me, where's Max? Where is Max? I'm going to knight him. I'm going to knight him. Where is he? Here he is. How do I do this? Add as moderator. There you go. Max, you are the second moderator of this channel. What a legend. What an absolute legend. Um, but again, all of you, all of you that are here are legends. Everyone that witnessed this this stream, this historical stream, is a legend. Anyway, guess the Nonguna. Guess the Nonguna, which I feel bad for there are definitely, there are definitely a handful of people in here who did not give a shit about anything that just happened and were just waiting for guess the Nonguna. There are there are some absolute hardcores that were just waiting for guess the Nonguna. Um this player started their career at Bayern Munich. They started their career at Bayern Munich. They went to Manchester United. And they went to Manchester City. Bayern Munich, Man United, Man City. I'm just going to let the dog out. There you go. It is not Bastian Schweinsteiger. It is not Bastian Schweinsteiger. It is not. It is not Ilkay Gundogan. And there we go. And th is that the double? Sam Shapiro, Owen Hargreaves is the correct answer. It's Owen Hargreaves. I, I honestly, my head was so gone during Guest the Guna. I did Sam Shapiro win? I feel like Sam Shapiro won Guest the Guna, right? I might just be completely wrong, but I felt like Sam Shapiro won Guest the Guna. And if he did, this is a this is a dirty double on one incredible day. Uh, Fishy Boopkin was second. Ross Lorman was third. Uh, VV Vlad was fourth, and Sammy Bennett was fifth. So there you go. There you go. Was that the dirty double? He's done that. He did. He did. I was right. I was right. I was right. Just that's the icing on the cake of this ridiculous stream is a dirty double from Sam Shapiro. Unbelievable. Uh, rename the live stream and pin it. Yeah, I'll just rename it the history stream, the historical stream, the AFC. The, the, no, the, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a Hall of Famer. It's an absolute Hall of Famer of a stream. It really is. I just... Where did it even come from? Where did... This was like... You know when, you know when like... Uh, by the way, I'm a mod on NAF, so I can help you here if you want to. Uh, Willsy, I, I probably will, yeah. I see you around a lot, Willsy. I probably will do that. W but where did it come from? It's like, you know those... Uh, what do they call them? What are those things when in groups of public just randomly all start dancing together? This is like this. It was like Hive Mind. Hive Mind just decided to, to just go crazy with the super chats. Another 199 from Harry Price. Let's finish the live on a good note. Harry, thank you so, so much. Um, a flash mob. Yeah, it was like a flash mob. We had a flash membership and a flash super chats galore. I don't know. I don't know. Godson says, not bad for my first ever stream. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Godson, you're welcome back anytime. You are welcome back anytime. Four ninety nine dollars from Ethan Udall as well. One last one for good luck. Much love, Rory. Good things happen to good people. I appreciate that so much, Ethan. I really do appreciate that. Nottingham Forest to 1-0 up. Nottingham Forest to 1-0 up. So there you go. That's uh, that's added to it. Who are the, I don't even know who they're against, to be fair. Who are Forrest against? 24-hour uh, stream. This is never-ending. Let's go. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? one up against Fulham. There you go. Forrest to 1-0 up against Fulham. YouTube probably takes half of it, right? Uh, they do, yeah. They do. Uh, Harry <laughs> Harry Price with 199 says, I would like to finish it. Not Ethan. Um, there you go. 
There you go. And AFC Max has given $5 again. And he says, thank you for the love. I've been watching the replay for a long time. Max, I appreciate you so much. Um, anyone that watches back the replays, I massively appreciate. And to come in and do what you've done today is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, DD Dat's come in with another 27 money. He says, score prediction for tomorrow, 4-0. Um, 4-0 to the Arsenal tomorrow. A little bit of a weaker team, uh, but Luton have got so many injuries. We are going for 4-0. Uh, Another $5 from Aaron. He says, you deserve it, mate. Thank you very much, Aaron. Um, seriously, I really do appreciate you uh, and everything you've done for this channel uh, from before the break and, and since we've come back as well. Max has gifted... A Max said he was done. Max was not done. Max said he was done, but he was not done because he's given another five memberships. Unbelievable, Max. Thank you. Just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Got to be the last one. Devin with the $2. Devin wants to be the last one. Ethan Udall has given two pounds because he wants to be the last one. And then Hyper Protagonist has given two because he's finishing. Uh, I'm finishing. I'm going to watch back this stream and I'm going to finish. Um, no. Nah. Let's, why why do you have to take it down that road? Just don't. Just you did it. To be fair, to be fair, hyper protagonist did that. Hyper protagonist did that. Uh, one nil to Newcastle. One nil to Newcastle against Everton. There you go. Big up chat. Let's do this again tomorrow. I don't think we can. I, I don't think we can expect this every day. I don't think we can expect this every day. Uh, pause. Pause. Harry Price. <laughs> Harry Price with the one ninety nine. <laughs> I'm last. Well. You know, I might just keep this running. I might just keep this running. Uh, I'm praying Luton stay up. They're such a cool team. I would love, I would love Luton to stay up. Um, they can't beat us. I'm not saying I'll give them a win over us to do it, but I would love Luton to stay up. Young Tar, let's wrap up this stream. Let's, you know, we'll, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up in a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, the thing is, I feel like, I feel like I have to keep going. To make more money. No, I feel like I have to keep going just because now it feels like an hour-long stream for the amount of, of Super Chats and everything that's happened in this stream just doesn't feel enough. That feels... I mean, what's that as an hourly rate? That is significant. That is a significant hourly rate. Um, my score prediction is 4-0 for tomorrow. At this rate, you'll end up with a new camera, PC, and a haircut. Come on. Honestly, honestly. We're definitely getting, we're definitely getting the camera. We're definitely getting the camera. Longest stream yet? Yeah, apart from watch-alongs, definitely. Um, apart from watch-alongs, is definitely the longest stream. Isaac with the goal? Uh, you know what that means. If I Isaac's got the goal, that means we need Victor Gjokeres. That means we need Victor Gjokeres to hit back tonight. Victor, you need to match him. You've got to match him. How much is 50 subs? I don't know even know how much it costs max. I don't know how much I get for it either, but it, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's uh, it's substantial. It is substantial. Rory with two quotes this stream, oil me up, daddy, and I'm going to rewatch this stream and finish. Listen, I, those I, those words were put in my mouth. Um, they that, that was, you put that in my mouth. You're going to finish the stream and tell your girlfriend you just made a grand? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Change the name uh, to Donation Surprise. Last Super Chat. Yeah, I might. I might. I might name change. I might name change it to just... I don't know. I'm going to have to change the name of the stream because most of the stream has not been about the Luton preview. Um, it has not been about the Luton preview. Thanks to AFC Max, Hyper Protagonist, and everyone that supported tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much. Harry Price, final one from me. I'm the last. Have a good night. Harry. Thank you so much. Another $1.99 uh, put in your mouth. Yeah, it was put in my mouth. It was put in my mouth. Um, phrasing. I used the correct phrasing. I used the correct. Max has a donation addiction. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. Max, if you ever want to come back, you just you feel free. You feel free. Honestly, unbelievable. 2-0 to Forest. I'm trying to find Isaac's goal. I am trying to find Alexander Isaac's goal. Uh, um, oh, here we go. I'm watching Isaac's goal now. Wait until we see. I'm going to be in 4K. I'm going to be in. I'm going to be in 4K Ultra HD gaming. Oh, do you know what? That's a great goal from Isaac. 
It is a great goal from Isaac. Again, like, do you know what it is? His stature just, he doesn't look like he should be able to move in the way that he does. But it's such a, it's such a good finish as well. Cuts inside, takes another touch and another touch and buries the bottom corner. He is good. He is good. What's the value of the camera? The camera I want is about £700, which sounds a lot, but it's actually, for what it is, it's quite cheap. Um, for what it is, it's quite cheap. You have to promote your YouTube more on TikTok because I've watched your TikToks for ages and just found out about your YouTube. I kind of do, but also, do you know what? The YouTube community that we've start that we've that we've started and have built here, like it's much smaller than TikTok. It is, but I love it because it's just there's just no negativity. There's no negativity. There's no toxicity. I like it. I like the community that we have here. And I'm, I'm not saying I dislike the TikTok community, but you know, I don't want my YouTube to be like what my TikTok is. Um, I don't want it to be like that. You got me on the Gyokares hype train. Yeah, hopefully he plays well tonight. He's a baller, but he's made of matchsticks. Yeah, that is the issue. That is the issue. Um, just know I was avid uh, Victor Gyokares before he went to Sporting. There you go, Max. Max is the uh, he's the super chat king, and he's also ahead of the game on Victor Gyokares. Real ones, uh, come on here. It's class here. The best Arsenal community. You're too kind. You're too kind. YouTube is a like this is this stream is just proof. It's proof of the community. Um, it really is. I won't be surprised if we see a seven hundred pound. No, we're not. We're not. We don't. We don't need that. We don't need that. Honestly, I can. I can genuinely. I think I can just go and get a new camera after this. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. Um, TikTok's too toxic. We can actually have casual debates and discussions about football without people from football Twitter trying to wind people up. Exactly. Exactly. And like, I don't think, I think we're a, I think this is a very smart community. I think this is a very sensible and smart community. It's not, you know, we know when we're joking and, and I, I think we have a lot of good opinion and, and I, and I, I enjoy, this is the thing I enjoy, like, just chatting to you guys. I think we have good conversations. Um, can you check the amount you got? I can do it after the stream. I, I can't do it whilst I'm live, but I think I can check back after the stream. But I mean, God knows. God knows. Look, that is though, that is going to be the uh, the end of the stream. Just a ridiculous stream. A, a historical stream. Um, to everyone that, that gave a super chat, thank you so, so much. To Max, to Aaron, um, to DD Dat, to Harry, uh, all of you. I mean, I, I should scroll back through them, but a new, a new kicked it off with twenty dollars right at the start. A new kicked it off, and it just flew. Hyper protagonist Devin Godson, uh, Jonathan Landy, Fish, Fishy Boopkin was there as well. Harry Price was in there. Halas, Young Tar, Emilio, Yoyoy, Brennan, um, De Virgo, VV Vlad contributed. Ross contributed. You know some of the absolute legends. Dominic TB. Um, Blake was in there as well. Um, so many of you, so many of you, and I really am grateful. Sam, Sam was in there as well. And, and I, and I want to say again as well, because this stream has been crazy, but I do want to say again, if you turn up, you hit the subscribe button and you press like on the video, that's all I'll ever ask for. And, and I will never ask for more than that, but look, I'm going to end the stream there. I hope you have a fantastic evening. I'm going to try and upload a video tomorrow. So I'll be at the match tomorrow. I'm going to try and upload a video before it that you can watch in the evening. And then there will be a match reaction later. Or it might be on Thursday morning, depending on how late I get back. But until then, have a great evening. Hopefully Arsenal win. And you're all just absolute legends. Goodbye.